Hi, I'm Beth. I'm a math teacher, and I'm going to show you how to make unlike fractions alike. Well, what are unlike fractions? Unlike fractions might be something like two eighths and five sixths. Those are unlike because they don't have the same denominators. Uh, and because they don't have the same denominators, it's very hard to do any sort of addition or subtraction with them. In order for them to be alike enough to do addition or subtraction, we need to find a common denominator. We need to make them speak the same language. Right now this one speaks in eighths and this one speaks in sixes. We could find the least common denominator and that's 24. Both 8 and 6 multiply to make 24, but they don't multiply by each other to make 24. 8 multiplies by 3 and 6 multiplies by 4. So since 8 multiplied by 24, in order to get an equivalent fraction to 2 eighths, we need to, the, uh, we need to make the numerator 2 also multiply by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, and over here, 5 times 4 is 20. Now they're speaking the same language because they both speak in 24s, and it's a very lovely 24 family reunion now that they've gotten together. Uh, you could also, instead of finding the least common multiple, or the LCM, you could just find a common multiple. You could do that by multiplying 8 and 6 because of course if you multiply them uh, in order to create a number then they both go into that number. 8 times 6 is 48 and since 8 multiplied by 6 to get 48 then the 2 will also have to multiply by 6 and we'll get 12 and here we have 6 multiplied by 8 to get 48 and so the 5 will also have to multiply by uh, 8, and so we get 40. Here we've got 12 48s and 40 48s. And if you want to apply some of your equivalent rules that you've seen before, you'll see that 6 24ths when doubled gives you 12 48s, and 20 24ths when doubled gives you 40 48s. But here we've got 6 24ths talking with 20 24ths, and 12 48s talking with 40 48s. That's how you can take unlike denominators or unlike fractions and make them alike. I'm Beth. Have fun with fractions.